hi everyone welcome back again to my channel if this is your first time of you joining me on my channel i am saying welcome to you and to my returning subscribers i am saying welcome back again to today's video today i'll be showing you how i cook my ogbono soup and this is a kind of recipe that i've been on my mind for a very very long time i've been craving for it i've been you know finding times trying to like make this happen but finally it is happening live and direct from that Ijebu chick. So I'll be showing you how to cook the Ogbono soup and I hope you enjoy the, the recipe and I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to just, you know, just press that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell. There's this small thing on the, I think it should be on the right, yeah. Just turn it on and then you'll be the first person to know when I upload any new videos and don't forget to drop your comment I need to see your comments as well so I'm gonna get started now and just keep watching these are all the ingredients I've got and I'm just gonna show you all the ingredients I've got in here you could see that I've got so many ingredients but the first thing is I'm so sorry my hands are extremely dry please ignore my hands i'm so sorry about that so the first thing i'm going to show you is my maggi i've got my maggi i've got my boneless cow feet and then i've got my assorted meat which is beef um kidney um shaki and um, what's it called and um, round the bar i'm so sorry and round the bar and then i've got my stock fish as well what i do to the stock fish that makes it a bit soft is i boil it and, I'm, and when I'm boiling it, I put all my maggi, everything. I make sure I boil it in the pressure cooker or what's it called? Is it pressure pot? Yeah, that's what I do. And then I've got my dried ogbono as well. I've got my vegetable, that is ugu. You can use spinach if you want, but I love ugu. I love ugu. <laughs> but I love ugu. So the first thing is I pre the pot and then I put my palm oil in it and make it um, fry for like one minute and then I had my um, and then I added my ogbono or oh, akmo. I'm so sorry. What is wrong with me? <laughs> and then I added my ogbono in it. You could see what I'm doing. I'm trying to make sure that there is no lumpy things, lumpy um ogbono in it and then i added my dry pepper you can use um the dry pepper that i used is the what's it called um atagungu is the dried um, one which is the blended dried pepper it's very hot and chilly yeah and then i added um hot water you could see what i'm doing i'm trying to mix it together so that it won't be lumpy and make sure you mix it well it depends on the ogbono that you're using that it won't be you know there's some ogbono that is not draw that it won't be dry even if you put okra it won't it won't draw but this one is so so good and then i'm adding my maggie in it so this is the maggie what i did is i added my crayfish towards the end of it because i really wanted the um crayfish to taste in it so you could see that the ogbono or the akmo is swallowing all the meats i'm putting all my assorted things in there now so this is the mix or this is the assorted um, meat and then i added cow skin as well just in case you're wondering i you can put anything you like you can put fish you can put turkey you can put chicken anything you want so this is the stock fish that i'm adding to eat now and then i'm just gonna make it cook for like um five minutes but the secret about the ogbono or the akmo is you don't cover it do not cover it but make sure it is cooked so let it boil for like five minutes before you add on anything you want to put in it so i'm adding the meat or the assorted meat for so that i could you know soak in some ogbono you know there will be a taste so i'm adding my i'm adding kidney not my kidney i'm adding the cow kidney now and then the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add my ugu my ugu leaf so the ugu is being washed washed and washed so you can see how green and fresh this ugu is oh my god i'm just loving this so the next thing i'm doing now is i'm adding my vegetable which is the ugu vegetable yeah so that's what i'm doing right
so make sure you mix everything together so that it will you know mix up well so now i'm adding my crayfish towards the end of it end of the film i'm adding my crayfish so i'm gonna just leave that now to boil for another two to three minutes and then that is it so this is our ogbono soup ready to munch to devour with a bar forget it it's so yummy <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. It is very important to me. Eh? Please, so don't just watch and you know, just go. Just watch and subscribe. It is absolutely free. It is free. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.